Mm, hello guys. Uh, what I'm about to show you today is the project I did for my FYP. Uh, for my degree in electronic and telecommunication, telecommunication engineering. Okay. The title of my project is the energy usage monitoring system. And the objective of the system is to and the use of the project is to monitor the energy usage of electrical appliances, which are what are the what I want to take today is uh, this lamp, okay? And then the system consists of two parts, which is the hardware part and the software part. This is the hardware part, the software part I will show you later. And then so the hardware part consists of uh, sensors, which is the vo uh, the whole effect sensor, one for voltage sensing and one for current sensing, and a relay circuit. This one is a relay, okay? Which will be used to switch on and switch off the supply when required. Okay? And then the signal from the sensor will be sent to the DAQ unit, the USB 6008 multifunctional DAQ unit from National Instrument. Okay? And then the signal will be sent to the computer. And then the software I built will acquire the signal and display the value of the voltage and current and then other required uh, value like the vo the power, power factor, uh, source frequency, etc. will then be calculated by the software. And then the software also has the capability to detect error. And the error will then, uh, uh, when error is detected, the relay circuit will be switched off by the software. And then, and then, so, and then the relay circuit is uh, controlled by the digital output from the DAQ unit, which is controlled by the software. Okay, and then uh, the software also can uh, the system also can be accessed remotely using the window that uh, remote connection, which enable the system to be connected uh, to control be controlled uh, locally, which is uh, within the same building through LAN or internet through internet. Okay, basically they can access the system anywhere around the world. Okay, so I will start the software. You can see software. Okay, this is how the software looks like. Okay, and then there is this, there is four graphs as you can see over here. This is the voltage graph, current graph. This is the power graph, and then. Uh, this is a combination of a tree of the graph. As you can see now, the supply is switched off. Thus, I now I switch on the supply. And as you can see, the, there is no current flowing actually. This is just uh, some noise, okay? okay? It's basically zero. Okay? And also the power is zero. So now I switch on it. You can see. Okay, I switch on the light already. Okay, you can see, the, there is a current graph voltage graph and then there is a power graph and this is a combination of three okay from all this uh from this from the sensor uh pick up other other value i can calculate from this uh there is a frequency voltage current real power apparent power power factor phase shift and then in radian and degree Kilowatt reading, elapsed time, how much the how long the device is operating in second and hour, the cost of electricity in kilowatt hour, and then how much you need to pay to uh, uh, for the time you operate the device, and then also the system has a database to store the uh, measurement data. You can click save to save the data, or you can when you click stop, also the data will be saved, and then there is the Error uh, error detection over here. Three detect three error, which is the uh, over voltage, over voltage too low, and over current. And you can actually set the threshold over here. The threshold value you can set it. Okay. Uh, extra extra information: the time and date and new voltage for the sensor. Okay, for the voltage uh, the the core effect sensor. Okay, you can see over here. Okay, now I will uh, I will show you how the system detect error. For example, I set the threshold value for the overcurrent to zero. Okay. Now you see, 
the light automatically switch off and then the alarm will be sound and then the green LED will be turned red indicating that uh, area is detected and it is overcurrent okay, I switch it back to 50 Okay, so uh, the alarm is disabled, uh, so I can turn it on again. Okay, the light is on again. It's running again. And then now I'll show you the database, how it looks like. I store the database in, the, in my document in the energy utility monitoring folder and then there's two data I can store. One is the error report we show uh, when error is detected, it will automatically save the data and then the save data when you save the measurement. Okay, here is what how it looks like. You can store store frequency voltage all the data required uh measured data okay and then it's also record the time and the date the data is being recorded. Okay, this is a measurement data. And then as the, for the error, you can see uh, for, uh, the error is uh, stored in different notepad file. For example, this one. Okay, this shows that this, there is two, uh, three error. Okay, uh, zero indicating there is a, a, a zero indicating no error, one indicating error. So, first one, uh, you see there's one, one, so over voltage detector okay and then you see the over uh voltage too low over current okay cannot detect that okay and then uh the time and that the error occur okay so there is about it for the database now for accessing the system remotely okay now i show you how i access the system using other computer both computer now is connected to my home uh, wireless network. Okay, now I connect it using the remote desktop connection software. So when the system pop up or the software pop up, you just key in the IP address for that computer. Okay, you can check using the command window. Uh, okay, that you can Google it out how to do that. Okay, so the IP is blah 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 okay I click connect so now uh, you key the username password okay so you set the connect okay now you see uh, I can use the software over here so that computer will be locked off Okay. So I can now control the system using this laptop. For example, I switch off the line. You can see. Yeah, the light is switched off using other computer, and then you can also monitor over here. Same thing, full control of here over here. You can also access the database from the computer. Okay, basically that's about it for my project. Okay, hope you enjoy my video. And I think there's uh, other other students who also doing something similar to this. Actually, for the DAQ unit I use over here, it is very very useful. Not only for my project, it also can be used for other projects. For example, uh, what my friend did using other DAQ unit for uh, underwater sensor network and then also there is a bird nest uh, Swiss farm uh, Swiss farm monitoring system I think wireless network monitoring system okay so if any of you want to do a project about control and monitoring system I think you should uh, be using something like this uh, uh, I suggest not you, you should okay I suggest it's a good thing uh, this one is the cheapest motor, uh, the 
low, lowest end model from the national instrument. Uh, if you buy yourself, I'm from Malaysia, so if you buy, buy yourself in Malaysia, it will cost you around uh, 5, uh, 500, 500 ringgit plus plus, okay, from the internet, from the national instrument website. But this is bought by my faculty through vendor, and then I don't know how, okay, but the price ramp up to 900 something. But this is not normal business because it's paid by the faculty, so not a problem for me. So, okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.